This CES coverage is sponsored by Richard Sounds Manchester. Call 0333 900 0086 for the best prices and expert advice for TVs, AV and Hi-Fi. Hello everyone, this is Dio from HGTV Test here. I'm here at Sony's stand at CES 2020 and I'm sitting beside the new Sony A8H OLED television. Now in the UK and Europe, I believe that the model number is going to be Sony A8 without the H at the end. So what is different from the AG8 from last year is that the Sony A8 or A8H will be receiving many of the top tier features of their master series A9G or AG9 OLED television, including an X1 Ultimate chipset that has really superb gradation and also pixel contrast booster probably the best upscaling on the market among OLED TVs. And also, new for 2020 models, the Sony A8 or A8H will be receiving the X motion clarity for OLED technology. Now, without delving into the details, I believe that this is the 120Hz black frame insertion or variable intensity black frame insertion technology that LG Display has actually introduced for 2019 models but subsequently pulled it. But I think it has made an appearance on the 2020 panels. Later on, when I receive a review sample, I'll be certainly going through the X motion clarity because the theoretical benefit would be to provide the increase in motion resolution without a significant darkening of the picture because they can actually fine tune and adjust the frame interval of the black frame that is actually inserted to increase the motion clarity. And the other upgrade over last year's AG8, which obviously only has a X1 Extreme chipset, is a new ambient optimization mode. Now, if you have watched my other videos from other manufacturers, there are several parties that have actually invested in technology to try and improve viewing in brighter rooms. And it seems that Sony has taken this on board as well. I don't know how all these different companies all come up with the same idea at the same time. Maybe it's just a low-hanging fruit, but Sony's version is called ambient optimization and it will optimize the picture depending on the ambient lighting that is detected in the room through the light sensor. Now, let's talk in terms of the design of the television. You can see that it is a very slim OLED panel with extremely thin bezel, as always. It uses acoustic surface audio technology, which means that the sound is actually being generated through actuators from the screen itself. And new for 2020 models, including the A8 and also the A8H, there will be two subwoofers at the bottom to give significantly more bass and weightiness to the sound. And because the sound is generated from the screen, there is significantly improved localization as well from objects in various parts of the screen. You can see that it sits on a fairly low profile stand that is slightly angled outwards near the end of the display. But if you wish to place a soundbar, if you already own a soundbar, Sony has very considerately designed a stand that actually can flip vertically such that it actually can lift the panel slightly for you to actually fit a soundbar at the bottom of the TV. Now, let's talk about HDMI 2.1. The current status is status quo. So the only HDMI 2.1 feature that is going to be supported on the Sony A8H or A8 will be eARC or Enhanced Audio Return Channel. It won't be supporting 4K at 120Hz. It won't be supporting variable refresh rate. It won't be supporting auto low latency mode. But Sony does point out that there is a notification that will pop up on the top right of the screen when you connect a game console for easier management. And also, the UI has received a slight improvement as well in that when you scroll through the UI, there will be description with some graphic to illustrate what the settings actually do. But there is no HDMI 2.1, no full fat HDMI 2.1 on the Sony A8H or A8. But the good news is that, you know, it will have most of the feature of the A9G or A9F, or in the UK or Europe, they are called the AF9 and AG9. So what I think has happened is that because the premium features on the Master Series has actually trickled down to the 8 Series, which is the A8, and therefore the lines are beginning to be blurred between the 
step-down model and a top-tier model. So I think for many people out there, this actually makes more financial sense because it will have X1 Ultimate, it will have Pixel Contrast Booster, and in addition, it will have X Motion Clarity and Ambient Optimization. And I think what you are losing from the AG9 would only be the remote control and also the center speaker mode. Now, at this event, Sony has also announced a new 48-inch model. This will come under the A9 banner, and it is actually a master series, but they don't have a display here for me to look at. But it will also have X motion clarity. It will also have ambient optimization, and certainly I think it will be very appealing to some of you out there who cannot actually fit a 55-inch OLED in your living environment. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.